This video, I'll be going over the looped exercise assignment with cups. So this assignment this week is a little bit different because I want you to practice how to continue to write simple algorithms, simple and efficient. Efficient meaning that you can do the most with the shortest amount of code. That's what loops help with. So you'll notice there's no short answer. There is no matching um, or Google form with this assignment. Your assignment is to complete all of these different cup castle patterns. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, make sure that you watch any video that I include. This first slide will be a video covering the concept of loops. This second slide will be this video that you're watching explaining how to complete the assignment. For the cup assignment, these are your cups. Just imagine these are small, tiny styrofoam cups. They're flipped upside down and stacked one on another. These are the symbols like your graph paper programming that we'll be using. This is pick up cup, put down cup, step forward step backwards, and flip cup. When you move a cup, you are only going to be moving it half the length of a cup. So what does that mean? It means if we go back here and we use the pick up, should always be your first move. You're going to pick the cup up off the stack. Now we're going to move it forward. So when we move this cup forward, it is only going to move here so that the corner of the cup is in the middle of the cup underneath it. That is half the length. So we need to actually step forward again so that we can clear the cups so that when we put down the cup, it'll go all the way down. So again, I'll do that one more time so you can see it. Our first move would be to pick the cup up. My second move would be to move forward. Now, if I just stopped here and I put the cup down, I'm going to hit the top of this cup and this would flip and move over and tumble. That's not what we want. So again, you have to pick it up, move it over once, and then move it over twice to put it down. Now you're probably thinking, well, Mr. B, why don't we just say that step forward means you just move it completely over? I'm going to show you why. Because in order to create these castles, these cup castles, we need to move in increments of half a cup. That's how we'll be able to stack these cups. So let's go over to this first pattern here. So again, over to the left, you'll have your cups that you can move. And then over to your right is your blueprint. You do not have to bring your cups all the way over and put them on top like this. You do not have to do this. This is just a blueprint so you know what your cup castle will look like. So my first step will be to move this up. So where are you going to write your your code or your program, the slide after. Each one of these patterns has a slide after where you will, in these grid boxes, place your symbols. So you can copy and paste them from your slide three. So the first movement we want to do for this one is move up. So let's go ahead and I'm going to control C and then control V here and move this. And you're going to have to resize these. So pick the cup up is my first movement. Then move over. That's my second movement. Control C. Let's bring it back here. Control V. And let's shrink it down. So it'll fit inside one block so that we can read this just as like um, we were a computer, one step at a time. What is our next movement here? 
Well, again, we need to move over one more time. So we can actually come back here and just repeat that code. Next, we're going to put the cup down. So let's grab the put the cup down symbol, control C, control V, and let's shrink this down. So pick the cup up, step forward, step forward, put the cup down. That gets us this. So now what do we need to do? We need to pick the cup up again, a second cup. So now we can come here, control C, control V. Let's pick the cup up again. We need to move over one. We need to move over two. Now, if we put the cup down here, it would be right on top. We don't want that. We want this to be our second leg over here. So we need to move over three. And again, if we put it down here, it would go in the center. So we need to move over four and then put the cup down. So over here, we're going to control C, control V, move over one, move over two, move over three, and move over four, and then control C, control V with put the cup down. So that will give us our two legs here. So next we need to get the top. So again, pick the cup up. So let's go ahead and control C, control V, pick the cup up, move over one, move over two, now, if we stop there and put it down, it would be right over our first leg. We don't want that. We want it to be right in the center. Move over three. So we want it there. If, again, if we moved over one more time, we would be on top of this leg. But now, if we put it down, we are right in the center to make our castle. So again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look like this over here. So what did we do? We moved over three. So let's grab that symbol. Paste, copy and paste, cut, copy and paste. And we want to have three of those. And then a put the cup down. And this would be our algorithm for our first cup castle. I would suggest making sure that you redo it with reading your own algorithm. So put the cups back, come back, follow your own algorithm, or have a friend or family member try to read this algorithm and build the castle so that you know it is correct. The second part of this, this is where the loops come in. We have to look back at our algorithm. Right now, this takes up two lines. So we want to look for any steps that repeat. Any steps, any patterns that repeat. So the first thing I notice is that our move forward, we have a lot of move forward errors throughout this algorithm. So let's get rid of some of them. So we know in this first section here, we move forward twice. So let's create a loop. How do we do that? Grab your shapes tool. Cover up what you want to loop, which is this move forward. Come to your fill and make it transparent. Make the border red and make it a little thicker, maybe a two. Double click inside and put the number two. And if you want, you can make that bigger or smaller. And then get rid of your second move forward. And let's move everything over. So now this says pick the cup up once, move forward twice. So keep moving forward until you hit the number two number. So one, two, stop moving forward, put the cup down. All right, so we have three here. So we're going to do the same thing. But we can actually copy this first loop and paste it. And let's put it here. Change this number to 
How many times do we move forward? Four. So let's go ahead and change that to four. Move this arrow over here. And then get rid of these other arrows. And let's put the cup down symbol, which would be next there. Pick cup up. Put here. Again, we're moving forward three times. So let's grab that loop symbol, copy, paste it. Put it in our next block here. How many times are we going? We're going three times. So put a number three there. Grab one of your arrows because we only need one because we're going to loop it three times. And delete the other arrows. And then finally, put your last command here. Look how much shorter this program is now. There are definitely ways to make it even shorter. So I will leave that up to you. We had some students last semester that could make these even shorter. Look for patterns. If you see patterns, loop them. There are definitely other patterns contained in these algorithms. Your challenge is to make the program or the algorithm as short as possible while still completing the task. That is the challenge. We made we took this algorithm from two full lines down to just over one line by using loops. Is there a way to make it even shorter? Absolutely. I can see it. There's a there's more patterns in this algorithm that we could loop. But I'll let you figure that out. So for the rest of this assignment, you are going to go through and create the different patterns you see to the right-hand side here. Every time you make a movement, remember, come over here and put the symbol in the code block. Create your code first, then go back and analyze it to see if there are any repeating patterns that you can loop. You can use these symbols again, just control C, then control V, and put them into your blank symbol workspace here. Once you are done with all of the patterns, you'll have this scratch activity here. Click on the image, and then click on the link, and it will bring you to loops with Ray and BB-8. Again, make sure you finish the entire activity. Once you do, give me a print screen and put it here on slide 19. Once you've done that, you're done with this assignment.